this tutorial, I'll introduce Pixlr. Pixlr is your online photo editing software that allows you to do some advanced image enhancing. It is a great tool when you are away from Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. Pixlr is also free. Go to Pixlr.com. It is spelled P-I-X-L-R dot com. Click on Open Photo Editor. Pixlr is pretty light, so it should load fast. If there is a problem, visit the support section at Pixlr's website. At the main menu, you'll see four different options. You can create a new image, open image from your computer, open image from URL, or you can open your image from library. But we haven't created any items for the library, and we will open our own image from our computer. The first thing that I want to do is I want to click on View and then select Full Screen Mode. I strongly recommend that you go through all the options located at the top of your screen so that you can see what they can do for you. Image, Layer, Adjustment, and Filter are the four menus that you might be using the most. Your Tools panel is located on the left hand side. On the right side, you have the navigator, which you can use to zoom in and zoom out. You have your layers and the history panel. You can also rearrange these if you wish, or you can expand them. If you close one of these panels, you can easily bring them back by going to View and selecting the panel that you have closed. To move the image around, select the hand tool and move it around. There are many tools in your tools bar. We're going to try the crop tool first. To crop your image, simply click and drag. You can adjust the anchor points by selecting them and then dragging them around. Once you're happy with the crop, you can hit enter on your keyboard or double click with your mouse. We can also use the stamp tool to take some of these imperfections here on the wall. To adjust the brush size, right click and click on larger brush. Or you can go to the top and select your size. Notice these different options that you have at the bottom and these options on the right hand side. See what they do. Now we're going to do some cloning. Watch what happens when I click on the image. It's going to give me a message telling me that I need to hit control click to define a source point. Let's zoom in. Use the hand to move the image around or you can hold the spacebar on your keyboard. Hit control and you notice that your cursor changes. This is going to define your area. So hit control and then click. And then you can clone. You can simply repeat this process. To undo, click Edit Undo, or you can go through your History panel. To see the before and after, click the little check mark located in the Layers panel. Let's go to the Adjustment menu. We have many different options here. We have Brightness and Contrast, which you can try out. You can use Hue and Saturation to desaturate or saturate your picture. My favorite, Curves.
Notice that you have some presets as well. Let's try cross-processing. To undo all of these things, you can simply go through the history panel. Another useful filter is vignette. Click on it and use the slider. Move it either to the right hand side or the left. Let's try a few more. Go to filter and click on glamour glow. If you think this is too strong there is no need to worry. Simply click this little icon located at the bottom of your layers panel. It should say toggle layer settings. Notice that you have different modes and the opacity slider. There's so much more you can do in Pixlr. Give it a try. Another really cool option is that you can create retro vintage effects. So let's try that out. You can use your webcam or you can load a picture from your computer. And this is where the fun starts. Simply slide through. You have more options. Too old, subtle, vintage, creative. It's up to you. Just play around with it and see what, what it does. Let's see what this does at the bottom. Oh, I kind of like... I kind of like this one. And how about this? This is going to give you different borders. Once you're happy with it, click Save.